Hey everybody, it's Lynn here, and today I'm gonna to review LG's newest phone for you guys. It's the V60 ThinQ 5G. Now, it's already available in the US on Verizon, AT&T, and T-Mobile for about $900 to $950. It's supposed to compete against the Galaxy S20. And what makes it unique is that it works with this case accessory here that basically doubles the display's size. So let's dive in. The V60 features a 6.8 inch display that's sharp and bright. Watching videos and surfing the web on a big screen is great, but keep in mind the V60 has a common 60 Hertz display. It's not a deal breaker for me, but the Galaxy S20 and the upcoming OnePlus 8, for example, have displays that refresh 120 times a second. If you want more real estate, that's where the dual screen accessory comes in. When it's connected, you can use two apps at the same time, use one side as a gaming pad, or expand one app across both screens. When you do that though, there's still a big hinge that goes down the middle. So if you're looking for that seamless foldable experience you see on the Galaxy Fold or Motorola Razr, you're definitely not going to get that with the V60. Still, the case has its own advantages. It does add a lot of extra bulk, but I like that you can take it on and off. My favorite thing about the case though is using it as a kickstand. Obviously, you could get kickstand cases anywhere for cheap, but at least this one also expands the phone's screen. On the back of the V60 is a standard and wide angle camera. Photos are vibrant and clear, and the camera did a good job at locking in on moving objects and keeping them in focus, like this photo here of these flowers blowing in the wind. The camera's 10x digital zoom was great at getting up close to this bear sculpture too, and its night view mode lit up this evening photo beautifully. Compared to the Galaxy S20, Samsung's phone does zoom up to 30 times, Though we suggested earlier that 10x is usually where we draw the line at capturing a usable photo. The Galaxy S20 also has a third telephoto lens, unlike the V60. On the front of the V60 is a 10 megapixel camera that takes fine selfies with portrait blur too. Video capture was decent as well, but things got muddier when I started to zoom in on this bird here. This is 1080p footage by the way, but the camera can record up to 8K. Final battery results aren't in yet, but so far the V60's battery life is promising. During a preliminary test for continuous video playback on airplane mode, the phone lasted a whopping 31 hours and 22 minutes. This is exceptional, and for comparison, the Galaxy S20 Ultra, which has the same battery capacity, lasted 21 hours. Check back though with the written review for the final battery results. Lastly, 5G coverage is rolling out nationwide throughout the year, and the V60 is a 5G phone. Of course, given all the many variables like different networks, location, and coverage, your experience will differ from mine. All in all, the V60 is about the same price as the Galaxy S20 with its dual screen accessory. You can get it without the case for around $800, and there are deals with carriers where you could get two for the price of one, or the case is free sometimes, so keep an eye out for those and any restrictions that they might come with. In and of itself, I do like the phone. Its battery life is great so far. I like that it has a headphone jack, for example, which is rare in premium phones, and the dual screen can be useful at times. It is cheaper than the Galaxy S20 by $50 or $200 depending on where you get it and if you get the case or not. But the phone doesn't have some of the bells and whistles of the Galaxy S20. That includes reverse wireless charging, a telephoto camera, or a 120Hz display. To me, that is worth $50 extra to have. But when you start getting in the $200 range for savings, I can see that the LG V60 is a great alternative. There you have it, those are my thoughts on the V60. Let me know what you guys think. Are you guys getting the phone? If you already have it, do you like it so far? Leave a comment in the section below and for more tech videos, check out the rest of CNET's channel. Stay safe, be well, and I'll see you guys next time.